All right, doesn't matter whether you're red or blue. Looking at the White House briefing room here, green, a lot more green of it being made here. And it looks like uh, the Senate is very close now to reopening the government. There'll be a, a follow up vote in about an hour. And then, of course, it gets kicked to the House, where, uh, you know, it's not a slam dunk, but it is looking increasingly like the government will reopen after three days shut down to the Wall Street Journal's Jillian uh, Melcher. We've got market watcher Paul Dietrich and, last but not least, Manhattan Institute's uh, Brian Riedel. Um, all right, so let me get your sense of this, Jillian. Any lessons here yeah, for investors? I, I do think there are a couple lessons here. So I, I was looking this morning at the 2013 shutdown and this shutdown, and even the 2013 shutdown, which went on for a substantially longer amount of time, you saw um, decent GDP growth, decent job growth. Right. I think the difference here that the stock market's responding to is the overall political mood, the push to deregulate. Um, one of the good things that happened last shutdown was the decrease in pages in the Federal Register. We're seeing that happen when governments open now. So you like shutdowns? <laughs> I wouldn't say I like them. I don't think they're a sign of a functional government. But they're, they're um, a sign but, of our but, times, right? But they have right? their perks. They yeah, have their perks. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be the new normal. Uh, we're we're going to deal with contentious, complex political issues uh, through these deadlines and the threats of a, of a shutdown, because the old way that we used to do this is with the earmarks. Yeah. Uh, people would say, let's make a deal. Uh, I'll give you this and that. And so it was all done behind the scenes. And back during the, the Bush administration, Republicans and Democrats, uh, the bridges to nowhere, they were spending like drunken sailors. And, and I I mean no it's disrespect true. to drunken sailors, <laughs> but, uh, but the thing is, now this is a much more transparent process, um, and, That's and, interesting. and and I think that, that we're going to see this more and more because this is the only uh, only way that we can kind of deal is kind of forcing to the to the edge uh, in order to get some of these things solved. And if you go back to Newt Gingrich and Clinton uh, during the close downs mm -hmm. that we saw, uh, the shutdowns that we saw at that time, we got welfare to work reform, we got entitlement reforms. You that know, came you afterwards. To, it came afterwards. But, but no, you're right. You raised a very this, good point. This is... This is it's uh, got to be an easier way of doing it, but I, I know what you're saying. It's like making sausage. I hear you. Uh, but, Brian, I, I'm wondering um, if we are getting used to this and, and to, to, you know, to Paul's point, if it was hurting us, we wouldn't see what we've been seeing in the markets. We wouldn't see what we've been seeing in the economy. So maybe um, we're okay with this. Are you? Well, I mean, politically, both parties thought this was good for them or they wouldn't have pushed their priorities as far as they did. And but both did someone blink? What do you oh, think? The, Demo the Democrats blinked, but ultimately the lesson going forward for both parties might be that government shutdowns can be won. So as we continue this par kind of partisan tribal warfare, I don't think either side is really going to move forward scared of government shutdowns. As for the economy... Only 12% of the government shut down, and for only two days. And so I wouldn't see any difference in consumption or business so investment So in other words, patterns. if this had dragged on, to your point, it might have been a little different. It might have been a little different. But I also want to point out one thing the Trump administration has done is try to lessen the pain. Um, with the Obama administration, we saw them try to intensify it. Um, and I think one of really good example they of this. They off but, all the memorials and these. Yeah, and, and they were behind the scenes gone. talking about how they were going to do it. This yeah. time, most of it's staying open. What do you make of that? Yeah, I, I think she's abs uh, Jillian's absolutely right, um, uh, and and we're going to get used to this. I mean, you you look at the market on Friday and early this morning. The government shut down. The stock market's up. Uh, nobody cares, uh, and I think that's. But if yeah. it had really dragged on, maybe the last time it dragged on for 16 days, yeah, and, and the market you, was up you three might be percent right. during that period of time. All I right. don't know who cares. All right, guys, thank you. I mean, with all these fast-moving developments, uh, I did.